and I'm gonna give it to you raw, like black with no sugar, you know, like nasty with no condom, like, oh my God, what did it do this time? Because they asked for me, wanted me to show you my act. Okay, I'm gonna give you my act. It's nice and quiet in here, so it's not a lot of laugh tracks going on, you know what I mean? But I put it to you like this. Billy, why? Why? Well, first of all, you got to know who Billy is. Billy is the guy who was in the hot water challenge. Or was it boil water challenge? I think it was boil water challenge. He scalded himself for life. Billy, why? Why? He said, I dare you. I, I triple dog dare you. I don't give a damn you go quadruple dog there. Me quadruple dog and two dogs and uh, a house on top of the dog and and uh, whatever you want. But there ain't no way in the world I'm gonna be that bored because he's down there in the country. He like, well, we try to play baseball, but we couldn't play baseball because when we throw the rock up in the air and I hit it with the deck and it crack and it, it bounces off the mountain then it, it go all over the place and it, the people be shooting off the rifles and shit saying yeah man stop that shit and so I, be, I didn't have nothing else to do so he dared me alright he dared you now you gotta have the most embarrassing plastic surgery in the world because have your face called off and looking like you needed plastic surgery. So the doctor said, okay, we'll see. Here's what we got to do. We're going to have to take some uh, skin from your ass and put it on your face. Uh, well, but, 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 but I got a hairy ass. He said, well, I guess you're going to have to shave your face. So Billy is now shaving little hairs off his face. He's the only one he going walking around. If you see a guy walking around with a hair going out of his forehead, that's Billy. <laughs> Billy, did you shave your ass? I mean, shave your face today. <laughs> your whole face. Not just this part. <laughs> forehead and all. You know? <laughs> and don't touch Billy's face. Cause that's like slapping him on his ass. You know? And, and, and Billy, like... Shit, you know, he's taking a test and he's sitting there rubbing his ass. <laughs> but they call him old butt face now. Old butt face Billy. No, uh, well, I'm sorry, Billy. I know uh, you probably haven't had the, uh, the procedure done yet because y'all ain't got a lot of money, obviously. Obviously. I did not say, I, did I say obviously? Oh shit, it's obvious, you know. You got lay. You know, you're playing with hot water uh, instead of uh, baseballs and basketballs and footballs and your own balls or anything but hot water. Why would you do that, Billy? Oh, butt face. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I got to do it. I got to get you. I'm sorry. Hey, but, uh, you know, getting back to the current state of affairs. We got a lot of shit going on right here in our own country, you know, and uh, and abroad, you know, must say, you know, it's tragedies uh, abroad with all these new diseases and stuff. It probably came right out of somebody's lab, you know, so um, and that's what happens when homo sapiens get it on with orangutans, you know, so wasn't supposed to go that way. Ask Harvey Weinstein, he'll tell you. He got his robe open now saying, I'm waiting on court. Yeah, I bet. You know, he's waiting on uh, a couple of lollipop uh, suckers to come around and uh, say, Oh, Harvey's going to make you a star today, baby. But then I don't want to mess up because I'll be messing up. So, you know, like Harvey Weinstein at a seven step program, not even 12 step because they don't have 12 steps for sexaholics. They had a sexual holic seven step program, and he walks in with his robe open. Tell me, hi, I'm Harvey. And everybody grabbed their thing and they say, hi, Harvey. So, gosh, why get it twisted? Uh, you know, uh, current state of affairs is really down our own damn selves. You know, look at the president. The president, I'm like, the president is looking, he burning a hole through that ass. You know, I mean, he look at you, he look at you with a stare that's like, I'm going to get your ass. Wait, 
wait till this shit's over. Wait till them walk in the hall, motherfucker. You know, I'm the anger management. I mean, I anger translator for Trump, so it's all good. I can do that. He can't, so somebody gonna have to do it on his behalf. But I see the way he be looking at him. I can read his mind. He don't even cuss in his own damn mind. He's like, come in the hall, gosh darn it. Uh, oh, somebody gotta speak normal language for the man. So he's like, come in the hall, motherfucker. I'm gonna kick your ass right after this shit is over. I'm gonna have somebody else kick your ass. Up. Hey, Secret Service, they're like, I'm sorry, Mr. President, I can't kick his ass unless he's trying to kick your ass. He said, well, I'm going to keep intimidating his ass. Maybe he come over here and try to smack shit out of me, kick his ass there. He said, no, Mr. President, I can grab him and, but, you know, detain him. From, but, man, you can't just whoop the shit out of his ass. He said, well, Mr. President, there's no way in the world uh, Secret Service with my uh, pedigree would ever do anything like that. He said, man, I'm going to go over there and smack shit out of my goddamn self. Y'all keep fucking around. I I'm the motherfucking president. You don't fuck with the president. And hey, this actually going to work out in my favor, you know. Because everybody loves the underdog. So when they stop stomping on me, stomping on me, I mean, they just stomping the shit out of me. You know, everybody going to feel sorry for me then. And they going to put me in off for that second time. Maybe I write a new bill where the president can go for four or five terms. As long as he feel like it, you know. As long as he keep it. Hey, as long as the Kremlin keep on putting them in, then y'all gonna keep on voting for them. Kremlin ain't got a jack thing to do with it. It's that blonde hair and that motherfucking uh, Hollywood shit he got going. Everybody want uh, Vince McMahon to be the president anyway, since Vince McMahon didn't want it. They said, hey, um, give it to Don. Give it to the Donald. You know, the Donald do that shit. He Hollywood and a motherfucker. How you gonna say that you would not really vote for this man? Say if he was a, uh, uh, a Democrat. If he was a Democrat, I mean a Democrat, I mean a Demis, I get tongue tied twisted sometimes. If he was a Democrat, he was part of the DMB. I mean the Democratic National Convention (DNC). If he was a D, if he was the Democrat, we'd have voted for him first thing off the bat. Obama would have had a hard time, but maybe not. I'm not sure about that one because. Uh, it was like, I, or, I mean, I mean, let's keep it real. Obama looked like he could walk on water. What nothing gonna stop him from being the president? The clouds would cloud up and shit, and his, uh, whoever be going against him would get struck by motherfucking lightning. Cause goddamn it, Obama was blessed, y'all. I mean, the man was ordained to be the president for as long as he wanted to be, you know. And actually, he probably would have took it for 12 years, but y'all got this messed up system telling you got to go for four or eight years, you know, two terms. Fuck two terms. The man was in, the man is in the prime of his shit. So why go two terms, you know? And I like to have a battle round, a battle off between Trump's anger translator, me, and Obama's translator. You know who you are. I'm not sure I get Peel and uh, Teal. I mean, uh, y'all know who they are. I, I don't want no copyright infringement, so I will just put it like that. But anyway, back to the battle raw. I want to keep it real, and I want to keep it real and real. It's going to be like. Black, but no sugar. No condom. If it was, it'd be not lubricated. I, I just, I'm just saying, I don't necessarily have to give you a formatted act, do I? I mean, come on now, this shit is endless because uh, there's so much shit that happened, and it is uh, just ridiculous, you know. I go to the doctor. And the doctor said, we got a new item, sir. It's called the pain meter I said, pain meter I can tell you how much pain I'm in. He said, from a, a scale from 1 to uh, 10, um, uh, how, how, how great is your pain? I said, it's about a 7. He said, maybe I'll hook his ass up to the pain meter And they look at the pain meter and they said, the pain meter says, you're not in any pain, sir. I'm like, what the fuck? The pain meter know what the hell I'm feeling. You know, a pain meter You must have lost your damn mind. 
the pain meter is sitting up there. It got a little, uh, 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 a little switch. It's go from green to red, you know. My shit's sitting all the way down in motherfucking uh, green, you know, beyond green. I said, the shit ain't on, man. You better, I get, look, I need to be off from work. And you telling me I'm not in no pain. I fell off a 40 foot ladder on my back motherfucker. How you gonna tell me I'm not no goddamn pain? Shit. I usually have coffee in my motherfucking sugar. Um, but what the hell you, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But don't get me tongue to wide. Don't get me fucked up again because this United States, I mean United Snakes, I mean Murray States House of, of America. But you know, it's all good in the hood. It depends on what hood you live in, you know, because uh, I want my hood to be in Beverly Hills, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to own a mansion, I'm going to act like I work there and shit, so the neighbors won't be jealous, you know, like, who's this motherfucker to be moving our neighborhood, you know, oh, he's a gardener, he's all right, so, yeah, I'm going to come over and do your gardening too, uh, some of your hood will go to work, no, I'm just kidding. Cause I know my old lady ain't having it. She be looking out the window with binoculars and shit. And like, I wish a motherfucker would. You know, and she that type. So, uh, hey, I, I, I don't mess around because of that. <laughs> Plus, I like big butts that I can't deny. Well, actually, I, you know, I couldn't help myself on that one too. But it's like, I like, I like them crazy. I like them crazy. So crazy enough to i i just t- i just tell them all look here baby i i can't lie to none of y'all so you know i'll have to bring all of y'all here um and they why you bring us to an auditorium and i said well i i sold tickets i sold tickets i hope you don't mind i sold tickets and um and uh and the, and the seats is lining up now seats is lining up now and they and uh they be like, why you got a wrestling ring up there? I know you like wrestling. Who coming out? You got it. You got who you got coming out? One of them old ass wrestlers that you can afford to uh, 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 have come down here for twenty five dollars. You know who you got? Uh, Abdullah the Butcher, somebody. You know, they like no, 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 no. That 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 ring there. That's for the battle raw later. Uh, 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 uh. As soon as all the uh, seats get filled up, we're gonna have a battle raw, baby. Y'all, us, y'all, yeah, y- um, y'all. Uh-huh. Uh, don't wear no uh, 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 clothing that you can that will get grabbed and snatched off. Okay, I mean. Because that's really what they want, but we don't want to give them that now, do we? We want to have a nice, little, legitimate battle roll. I want to see which one of y'all throw the, who going to be the last woman stand, you know, in the ring? And now, the rules of the, rules of the competition is you got to throw your uh, a competitor over the top rope. And uh, their feet got to reach the floor. Both of their feet got to hit the floor. And then um, uh, the last woman standing gives me. They be like, nigga, you crazy? Everybody leave and shit. I'm like, well, hey, hold up. Hold up. I paid a lot of money for this auditorium. People waiting for a show. Like I said, black with no coffee. I mean, sugar, no damn coffee. Uh, well, hell, here, let me drink my sugar. That's black coffee. I told you I was going to give it to you raw. Peace out.